So here we have the MSI GF66 Katana and I've done some further testing and reviewed the laptop, the design, the keyboard and everything there is to know about this laptop. So let's find out what this laptop is all about. So how I pointed out in the unboxing video that this has a very subtle and well-rounded design, I still stand by that. It is a well-rounded design, doesn't have any sharp edges, resting your hands, it won't make you feel uncomfortable after a long time of typing or just resting your hands on it. So this is very nice for if, if you're using your laptop on a desk for a longer period of time, it won't cut into your skin as much. Now, what I didn't like about this laptop is the small trackpad. So it's not very responsive, it's clickiness is not very nice. And overall, it's not the best trackpad that I ever used. And I still stand by that. So if you have a chance, use a mouse. Anyways, you're gonna use a mouse for playing games. If you don't mind using this trackpad, it's perfectly fine for navigating windows or just doing everyday tasks. So for that, this trackpad is perfectly fine. Now, what I also noticed about this laptop is that the keyboard is a very nice layout. It is a full-size keyboard. It does have a number pad on the right side. However, it's a little bit cramped, so the enter key is not in its usual position. Instead, it's under the zero and dot, but for most people, this won't be a huge deal. And even though it's a little bit crammed, it's still a very nice keyboard to type on. What I also really liked about this laptop is the port selection. So it has a nice variety of ports and all of the ports are on either side. So no ports are located on the back of the laptop. Now on the left side, you can find the charging port and two USB ports. On the right side, there is an ethernet port, a HDMI port, a USB-C port, a USB port, and a headphone jack. After that, I would really have to mention that this has a pretty nice cooling assembly. So you can see the copper heat pipe from the bottom of the, the chassis. If you flip the laptop over, you can see those copper heat pipes going everywhere. And overall, it's just a nice design. Now, the screen is a 15.6 inch screen. It's pretty big and perfectly fine for playing games on it on the go. Now, it does have worse viewing angles than the laptops that I've seen. But compared to them, this has a 144 Hz refresh rate screen, which most other gaming laptops have, but which don't, this has an advantage over them with having a 144 Hz refresh rate screen. So the resolution of the screen is the exact same as all the other laptops that I've tested and seen. It has a 1920 by 1080, um, pixel screen which is perfectly fine for playing games and doing your usual daily activities. Now looking at the webcam, this has a very comparable webcam to all the other laptops that I've tested. I've seen better webcams like on the Acer Nitro 5. I thought that that was a better webcam than this one found on this particular laptop but it does the job so if you're on a zoom call or whatever it it is perfectly fine for that. So we took a demo video and here's how it looks like. This is the webcam of the MSI GF66 and it's not the best webcam I've seen on a budget gaming laptop like this one, but it definitely is perfectly fine for being on a video call with someone. Now after testing out the webcam, we looked at the speakers found on this laptop, which again are not the best in class. But for casual listening to music, videos, or whatever you're listening to with these speakers, it will do the job just fine. So we took a demo video and you can listen to this right now. So after looking at the speakers, I tested out battery life and it was very comparable to all the other laptops that I tested. So if you wanted to play a game, you could um, play for around one hour and 30 minutes before the laptop dies. If you're not using the battery to play games instead for less demanding tasks, you could definitely use it for five or more hours. So once the battery was drained, I was able to charge it up in about two and a half hours, which is thanks to this having a 180 watt charger. Now this is pretty compact for its wattage. It's not the smallest charger I've seen, but it's pretty easy to carry around. Now talking about performance, 
let's look at the performance of the processor and GPU. Now, this has an Intel Core i5 processor. I ran two Geekbench 5 tests to test the CPU's performance. And for the first time, I did the test while the laptop was plugged in. And I got a single core performance of 1,461 and a multi-core performance of 5,946. Now this is a good, pretty good performance. And then I unplugged the machine and I redid the test and I got a single core performance of 1,361 and a multi-core of 5,328. Now, these are pretty good performances from this CPU. Now, I also tested the GPU and it got a score of 90,000 which is expected from an NVIDIA RTX 3060 graphics card. And the laptop also has 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigabytes of SSD storage. Now after that, since this is a gaming laptop, I did test out some games. I have a full gaming review of the MSI GF66. So if you're looking to learn more about how it performs with games, um, definitely check it out, but all in all it performed very well. I put all the maximum settings I was able to and It got a pretty good FPS rate So I was satisfied with its performance now after looking at the games I've tested I tested some creative tasks. So video editing um, Graphic design and photo editing was tested on this laptop So first I tested out video editing and I loaded up three 15 minute 1080p videos into the video editor and I exported that. By the way, scrubbing around the timeline and just playing the video was very smooth. I had no hiccups. Now after that, I did look at another project of Blender and this was a higher grade project of a very nice Bugatti. So I hit export and it was able to export this project in about 13 minutes, which I've tested similar spec laptops to this one and they all performed very similarly. And after all of that, I looked at photo editing and again, as I mentioned before, no issues were found with editing the photo or adding elements or exporting it. So overall, it performed very well with these. So in conclusion, if you're looking for a gaming laptop with good performance, good cooling and overall nice design, this is a great option to consider. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have a great day.